so it is true. You really never are too old. My name is D'Artagnan Randolph, author extraordinaire. Now at the ripe old age of 55, my time to shine had finally come. Yeah, my new novel, Desiree Ashton, is being adapted to a screenplay as a major motion picture. Though not religious, I believe in the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And by God did they deliver. Boy, did I celebrate. Until the coronavirus struck. CDC estimates that the highly contagious Delta variant now accounts for over 90% of new COVID-19 cases in the U.S. Everything was postponed. Major investors began to withdraw, causing the entire project to be aborted altogether. My entire world was crushed to dust. As a kid, my world centered around my writing. I had entered several contests, won several scholarships with a degree in journalism that led to my bachelor's degree in literature. I had sacrificed love, I sacrificed relationship, and marriage for the sake of my writing career. Now the entire country is on lockdown or locked in or locked up in a quarantine to prevent the spread of this horrible life-taking SARS. Now I really do feel the burn of being single, alone, and old. so sure about that. his head, but it's going to be just fine. He fainted. No one faints these days. Poor man, he probably think he's losing his mind. No one faints. No one faints. Well, you'd faint too if you woke up one morning and walked into your bedroom and found two live living versions of yourself, live and in the flesh. Well, quite frankly, I'd find it quite delightful. Remember, he's human. He, they can't handle that. It overwhelms them. I'd be a different person at morning, a different person in the afternoon. I'd be dashing at dinner. And Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, I'd be off the chain. <laughs> Hello, wild. <laughs> you are so... So full of shenanigans. I was going to say full of yourself. I bet. I bet. Well, I, I'm as humble as I can be for someone so perfect, tall, dark, and handsome. There is more to life than being tall, dark, and handsome. Oh, how would you know? Your head stays in the clouds. No pun intended. <laughs> it's called pretty privilege. You should Google it. Oh look, he's coming around. Oh. Oh. Um. I died. I died, didn't I? Fainted. This is a spiritual matter. If you call the police, they'll diagnose you with schizophrenia. They drug you up and lock you up 
And if one go, we all go. Oh, go right ahead. <laughs> I don't mind going to jail. I'd have a ball or two. So bad. And you are the good guy. The nice guy. I, I get it. Me, myself, and I. Exactly. Or well, isn't quite exactly in that order. You see, I'm first. Well, you know, he thinks he's bigger. Wiser, stronger, and prettier. Oh, okay. I'm starting to think you like the bitter taste of hyter aid and all that shade. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no. I just knew this was going to be a boring pain in the ass. Oh, sorry for swearing. Damn it. yourself all razzled up. What he means is, you've been given the divine ability to see your own conscience, and we're here to help. Live and in the flesh, my nigga. You do know that's offensive, right? Whoops. I died. No, I died. You're simply facing yourself, your consciousness. The good, the bad, and the ugly. <laughs> why me? Well, maybe you should ask why not you. I mean, I'm nothing special. I'm just an ordinary guy. I mean, I'm just as broke as the next guy. But you are abundantly blessed and rich in other ways. For example, people love and adore you as a writer and as a man. And your talents are completely unmatched. But he's broke. He's right. I spent endless nights, sleepless nights, typing until my fingers got numb. And not to mention the money I've invested that, that, that never seems to end and never enough. And he's still broke. Please be quiet. So bad. Your bleeding, compassionate heart sabotaged every successful measure I've concocted. And that's because success should not be concocted. Success should be planned, strategized, prayed for, and then put into action. Wave your wand, fairy godfather. No! You lie. He's lying. You lie. You lie. He's telling the truth. Oh! Yes, although we know how prone he is to not telling the truth, he is telling the truth. So you guys are my guardian angels. Ah, but that's just it. 
Only one of us can be your guardian angel. Oh, hell to the yay. Yay, brownie points for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, but don't be so quick, D'Artagnan. Huh, that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. I could be able to pay my rent, be able to buy some new gear, be able to buy some new computer, and get a car that actually runs. How about that? Hmm. D'Artagnan Randolph. Every man wants to be a success, but success comes with great responsibilities. Yeah, like got your paper, player. <laughs> I'm good with that. Go to life. Wave the wand. You heard the man. Wave your wand, fairy godfather. D'Artagnan, what's the use of gaining the world and losing your soul? I don't know, but I'd sure like to find out. See? D'Artagnan Randolph, this is not a game. You're being put to the test, and you must think this through with a clear head. That's right. Think about all of your bills being paid. The six-bedroom mansion, the Bentley, the girls. Ooh. Yes. But you haven't struggled with your bills in years. I would know. And your friends. Your house is the coziest place on earth. Go alive. And your car? So what? It's a 215 Mazda. But with a tune-up, it'll run as good as new and with a brand new life, D'Artagnan. Hey, there's nothing wrong with wanting to move up in life. You'd be wallowing in the debt. You'd be rich. You don't have to worry about the bills anymore. D'Artagnan, people will stop at nothing to get hold of your money. Because you make lots of it, family and loved ones and friends will feel as if they're entitled to your hard-earned money. Their hands will be held out. And then, you'll find yourself being an enabler to their financial carelessness. You won't know who's sincere and who isn't. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hey, you don't have to give it to him. You have a choice, remember? That's right. I can't say the word. See? You will never sleep. I'm being... I'm being then a little, uh, works for me. Then you'll be dragging in the mornings. Well, then I'll have two cups of coffee instead of one. You'll be in the vicious cycle of an addiction. That's true, too. Hey, don't be such a wuss. You're a writer, for heaven's sake. Your best work is done in the wee hours in the morning. And you'll be whisked around like paper blowing in the wind. And you'll have no privacy. Who needs privacy? He's going to be a Pulitzer Prize winner for novelties. For a novel series. A Pulitzer Prize? A Pulitzer Prize writer? Are you serious right now? with movie screenwriting deals to boot. What? For a novel series, bullets of pride? What? That's right. With movie screenwriting rights to boot. Are you serious right now? That's right. Films. Oh my God, what can possibly be wrong with that? Yes, D'Artagnan, you will be rich, but you will be consumed with time trying to keep track of it. No one can be trusted in such financial realms, believe me. Hmm. 
That is right. You know, the ones that's uh, closest to you can do the most harm and the most damage. Oh, just stop it. You're being paranoid. Both of you. Okay, now you say paranoid, I say precaution. Especially when it comes to money that cannot be traced. Oh, don't listen to him. You blow the chances of a lifetime, you'll end up teaching fifth graders with a pet gerbil. And actually, it doesn't sound so bad compared to the riffraff of the Hollywood people-eating machine. Oh, just stop it. Hollywood doesn't eat people. Would I lie about something like that? Would I lie about something like that? And yes, you will lie about that. Hollywood eats the souls of talented people. It exploits them without mercy. All for the sake of money. It has them doing bizarre and dangerous things. All for the sake of money. Money and fame. Oh, those damn conspiracy theorists. Don't even make sense if you put any thought to it. But where there's smoke, there's fire. Blah, blah, blah. Well, let's get on with it now. Any closing arguments before the phone call comes? Phone call? Phone call? What? What phone call? The phone call that will change your life from being a pathetic wannabe writer to a Pulitzer Prize writer who's having his novel turned into films. That phone call. <sighs> oh my god. Yes, D'Artagnan, but those award-winning novels that has been turned into movies have an agenda. You see, they're meant to lead people down the wrong path. Oh no, here we go. You can't save the world, let them find their own way, let them find their own paths. You can't save the world. Financial freedom, alas. And spiritual freedom, doomed. Must you rain on everyone's parade? Why must you do it? Why? I agree. Painted faces from dark, strange places. 